it's a story of people <coughs> how do i say who want to come back home uh, when you finally get the calling Never would have anyone foreshadowed the comeback that Shah Rukh Khan has had in 2023. An actor totally written off in 2018, slated to be past his prime and never having the ability to experience that level of monumental stardom that he experienced in the late 90s and mid 2000s. While Pathan and Jawan extracted some of the most memorable theater experiences in 2023, especially for those who experienced it on opening weekends and just were a part of that communal viewing experience, everyone acknowledged that Shah Rukh Khan is doing the cinema. that he knows people will love him and celebrate him for a percentage however always wondered whether we will get a nuanced and understated story from SRK in the current environment where only high octane action is working so when it was announced that SRK and Rajkumar Hirani are going to combine forces to end the trifecta return of SRK in 2023 people were the most excited for Dunkey expecting it to deliver the most impactful storytelling of all SRK films that have marked his return and cemented his position at the top of Hindi cinema Come on. Fate also works in mysterious ways when you hear the anecdotes of Rajkumar Hirani talking about how there was a possibility that his first film Munna Bhai MBBS could have been made with the lead Shah Rukh Khan and Ashwarya Rai. Close to 20 years later, the artists are finally collaborating with one another with Dunkey and the organic hype around the film building to its teaser was quite fascinating. I mean, I know Shah Rukh Khan says it in jest, but him stating that he is the last of the stars really was in full display last night as fans collected outside of Mannat post night just to see a glimpse of him i remember bhuvan bam talking about just the sheer impact and connection the actor has with several generations and it's so indicative of just the number of people that collects outside of his house for his birthday just to catch a glimpse of him something that we have discussed many times is next to impossible to replicate for the future generation of actors who are so easily accessible let's pack in several details about the teaser that dropped today what we loved about it and what we can expect from this highly anticipated collaboration I think what immediately stuck with everyone was what Pritham has contributed to the film with his music. As everyone knows the journey most Rajkumar Hirani films will take you on, they work on an LCD principle. Each scene is formulated by him and Abhijit Joshi with the intention of it either making you laugh, cry or having a dramatic high point. And essentially the Dunkey teaser seems to be covering all these emotions, commencing from the brilliant vocals by Sonu Nigam. I think this will be the emotional thread of the film. the calling from home when the wide eyed group has had enough with their pursuit of a brighter tomorrow in the west the lyrics nikle the kabhi hum ghar se ghar dil se magar nahi nikla immediately solidifying this for me as i presume there will be a realization among the core group that they were privileged to be at home while constantly dreaming of a better tomorrow away from it the song is titled badi dur se aaye hain i believe and the lyrics are written by javed akhtar the vocals by sonu nigam absolutely grip you from the first frame. him and i can't wait to listen to the entire album this is followed by the quintessential comedic sequences in hrani movies that entail the family dynamic i found the fed up family of the son dreaming of going to london and immediately cutting away to the grandmother's funeral hilarious this is where the core group of the film is introduced and the pinned in which they reside the intention behind the film might be to showcase a sense of mediocrity kicking in as they live their routine life and see their life withering away only to dream of a better future in the west of course while being totally incompetent financially or to be eligible for visas a lot of people are already mocking the film and its comedic touch showcased in the teaser creating parallels with zero and how it reminds them of that debacle what people are forgetting about the 2018 film is that bawa and his escapades in meerut were actually the best part of that film when anandel rai actually focused on the hilarious family and bawa's mischievous ways in india it actually extracted the most hilarious portions of the film it is where the nasa journey commences and we were extracted out of the confines of meerut where the script absolutely went all over the place it would be interesting to see how the group of misfits are presented in this film and what acts as a key motivation for them to seek 
seek for a better future away from home. It was also lovely to see Vicky Kaushal in the film who seems to have an extended cameo in the movie. I'm slightly bummed out about the fact that SRK and Tapsi might be in a romantic relationship in the film as SRK tells someone that he may name Manu and their kid based on the official's name that he interacts with in the end of the teaser. It just adds on to the narrative of widening age gaps in Bollywood films where the male actors through AI and de-aging technology get younger and younger and assume that no one will notice that they are still romancing heroines almost half their age. I really like the overall feel of the film, the heartfelt theme, the feel-good factor with the group and the glimpse of the emotional core which may become the overall thread, which is essentially the concept of home and what it means to someone. We wait for another drop to get more glimpses of the film but I am so excited to see what the combination of SRK and Rajkumar Hirani have cooked up together. And that was the video guys. Write it down in the comments below what you thought about the first drop of Dunkey. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handle's right in front of you. Follow me at jammypants4. Also, please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.